Hello world, I'm just here to make you think. This is a story about a few individuals that's way younger than me that took a shot at the streets in my neighborhood, the Huntington section of North Philly, 9th of Huntington, 9th of Somerset, 12th of Huntington, Del High and Dolphin, Tim and Susquehanna, Tim and Dolphin, all through that neighborhood. These young boys was legends in their own right. They was known. A lot of people knew them. Call, call, bullet head. You know I mean? And the rapper, Reezy. You know what I mean? So the boy Reezy, his brother Roy, call, call, they was all brothers, you know? And they ain't here no more. Roy got killed at the gas station when he got off his motorcycle, his Ed Harley motorcycle, while he was getting gas. But Carl Carl and Bullethead allegedly lined this young boy from down. See this gas station? I mean, this jury store right here? They allegedly stole his watch, took it to the jury store. They on, you know, video. The guy on the jury store is the same person that actually sold the boy Hawk the watch. So he called Hawk at the hot got shot in the face and set up and lined up. This 10th in York, my neighborhood. You know what I mean? They all known in this neighborhood and everything. And I guess that he flew past his neighborhood in a white Audi. You know what I mean? He got killed. You know what I mean? Bullet hit. You know what I mean? Boy got killed. Call, call got killed. That's the white Audi right there, a block away from my aunt niece's house. He got hit in the hip, lost control, must have panicked, crashed, and he died. But the boy Hawk from Badlands, well, not Badlands, he's from the dirty block. Badlands, they call it Badlands. You know, you know, once he seen it, who it was that lined him up, the same people that lined him up, the next day the boy got shot in the face, he got on Instagram and, you know, sent his, you know, saying he felt bad about what happened to him the whole time. They couldn't believe he was in on it. But this is the boy brother. You know, and Reezy, the boy got locked up, the one y'all just seen in the bins. He got locked up and left his little brother everything. And his little brother, you know, them young boys out here sell drugs and want to live like rappers. And it's allegedly they was out here with the fake money going around, buying all type of shit. So, you know, the streets talk, you know what I mean? And they do their videos. Look at Knife and Somerset, Knife and Huntington. And when these boys got killed, bullet head and call, call. The rest of the young boys on Ninth of Somerset, Ninth of Huntington, they started to ride and, and say they're going to represent Bullet World. But they weren't a part of that situation. But just watching how young boys like him, his brother Reezy and all of them get together and drive around in yellow Lamborghinis, Maseratis, and Jaguars and all that. Then they try to clown him when he got locked up, say, how can he afford a Jaguar and a Maserati? And he's sitting in jail. With an eight thousand dollar bill, when he came home, he jumped right in that Audi. But it was allegedly that he, he they robbed the, this Mexican drug lord for all his dope, and you know, I guess they was lacking. You got two enemies: you got the Mexicans on you, and you got the boy Hawk and the Dirty Block boys on you. You gonna ride down Tenth Street in a bright ass white, probably a two hundred thousand dollar car at Audi, and you riding down the street in that. Thinking this shit's sweet. Youngin' right here. I mean, y'all gonna see the car in a second. This they little crew. They team up. They fly as shit. Young boys. Throw that shit on. Get money. You know what I mean? Them boys from Huntington Street. They get money. 7 Huntington. 9 Huntington. 12 Huntington. You know what I mean? And ain't none of them here now. Because they rolled the dice. You know what I'm saying? But they names is ringing out here, man. They was, they was like little stars out here. The way they used to stunt. The jewelry. The money. The cars. The clothes. That neighborhood is known for getting money and stunting, though. That's meatball neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. This is the jury store. How do you take a watch that's stolen back to the same jury store it was sold at? You know, like, I hate to say it, man, but streets, man. When you're in the streets and you drop out of school, sometimes when you make the decision to to, you know what I'm saying? Look at him, he on a Porsche. He's got his boy Jaguar and his Maserati and the photo, you know, of his mural. 
They put all this stuff on the internet and all, all this money. Look at Youngin, man. He can't even seal the steering wheel. But our biggest car is foreign. You know what I mean? That's what they were doing. Driving foreigns. The neighborhood is known for foreigns. The boy Smoke had his run. You know what I'm saying? A Reezy going, Call Call going, Bullethead going. You know what I mean? Everybody had a, a time to shine, man. The boy Smoke from Michael Huntington. He was flashy with the Burgundy Lexus and the White Lexus when they were doing a DOD rap group. Before that was the boy Lump and all the foreigns and Puerto Rican E Man with all the money. Look at my man L right there from 12, 12 Huntington. Hey, with the hat on backwards. Yes, yeah, my man right there. See, everybody out here from Huntington Street. It's a whole Huntington Street. From 7 Huntington all the way to 12 Huntington, man. And now they're on Broad Street and they're Broad and Fairmount. And they're Broad and Gerard at Jolly's. And that other club. Yeah, the young boys, man. They shot the dice, rolled the dice, man. And, and that's what they was trying to do. They got the mural of the ball pit, man. Young boys, bullet head, and call call, man. Them two right here. Call call, short little call call, bullet head. One from Night for and one from Night for Somerset. And these boys get together, and, and you know what I mean, and do their thing. But as you see, you know what I mean, it's a price to pay. And in North Philly, and in the hoods of Philadelphia, period. The young is going to roll the dice, man, and take their chance, man. Even if it's for a little bit of shine, there's nothing like that feeling of being loved and respected when you got big toys like cars, farms, the hood loving you. But when you got individuals that, that don't, you know what I mean, that don't, you know what I'm saying, that don't, how can I put it, that don't um, care, man, about none of that shit if you rob them. You know what I mean? They want their revenge. Motherfuckers get revenge the best way they can, man. Like, and you gotta have a lot of heart to, you know what I mean, to be into that like that. Like, far as doing shit in your own neighborhood and then being sloppy about it and, you know what I mean? And, I don't know, man. You take something, let someone else get rid of it. Go somewhere else underground, you know what I mean? But, it's like, when you different in that life, there's only a few people you going to deal with on that level, so you ain't be able to trust too many people. You feel me? You can't trust too many people when you're on that level. So sometimes you got to play the front line on getting rid of shit that you stole and everything. But, you know what I mean? Shit comes to an end fast, man. And this boy got killed. He was, he was, uh, he was, they was coming from, I think, the hookah bar. They was coming from somewhere clubbing and partying when young boy got shot at. You know what I mean? But 